Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Station, and today, today we have another video about Sonic Movie 2. First and foremost, thank you so much for the support on the first video, it really means a lot to me. And, since you guys asked, we have a second video about Sonic Movie 2. But before we start, I'll say one thing again. I will not say spoilers about the movie, because this movie is so good, but so good, that I think you should not research spoilers about the movie. Well, instead, I'll give you 10 things that you need to know about the Sonic Movie 2 before you watch it, so I can really convince you that you should go to the cinema and watch this fantastic movie. So, number one, I think this is really obvious from my reaction, but this movie, Sonic Movie 2, is way, way better than the Sonic Movie 1. I must confess that the difference is really huge, and I will grade it at the end of the video, but I did not expect it to be so good. Like, it's really, really good. As I said, Sonic fans will get more from it, but this movie is really good for every single person of every single age group. I think this is honestly the best video game movie adaptation. I have been reflecting a lot about the movie since I watched it and it's fantastic. I cannot say anything else than this, it's just way better than the first one, like way, way better. So number two, I would like to make a mention to this. I think this movie seems more like a Sonic movie. I think that the first movie seemed more like what if Sonic was in a human world? Like, there was a lot of relevance to the humans, but this one focused more on Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Dr. Robotnik, and the world and lore of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I think this is something that will appeal many more people. This is for Sonic fans, and I think this really feels like a true Sonic movie. Number three. I want to make it clear that there is a lot of plot, but like a lot. There is a lot of story, there is a lot of exposition, there are tons of scenes and connections made throughout the story, even with movie one. So seriously, just go watch the movie. If you want, rewatch the first one and maybe you can watch the deleted scenes from the first one and I think you will really, really enjoy it. Number four, Tails and Knuckles are perfect additions to this movie. Tails is just so adorable. He's the perfect sidekick to Sonic, and I think that some might criticize that he appears and he acts like a best friend to Sonic immediately, but you have to remember, this is a movie, Tails has a lot of gadgets, and when I say a lot, it's really a lot. You haven't seen, like, half of them, trust me. And I really like that he is still that uh, mechanic persona from the video games. And Knuckles, my dear friends, Knuckles is really serious in this movie. He is not a goof, he is like the character that he was portrayed around 1994, the time where it was Sonic vs Knuckles. Knuckles is someone intimidating, Knuckles is someone really serious, and if he has to go through you to get to his goals, he will go through you to get to his goals. And I think he was portrayed excellently in this movie. Number 5. Well, I think humans fit way better in this movie, like, they really seem part of the action, sometimes you could think that, oh, they are speaking a lot and I'm not really interested in the humans, but I think it was a really great job, of course they are not the main cast, the main cast 
is the cl the classic Sonic Trio and Dr. Robotnik, but I think the transition was perfect, they are still relevant, Tom and Rachel and all the other humans are still there and making their role, and one that I really liked was Agent Stone, I could really... I, I couldn't stop laughing about Agent Stone. Agent Stone is like that one character that I did not valorize much on the first one, but in this movie is spot on, and I really like him. Number six. Number six is something that I really like. Jim Carrey. Like, everyone likes Jim Carrey, and you probably liked his performance in the first one, but in this one, he goes even further beyond. I, I think that um, I expected Jim Carrey to be Jim Carrey, but in this one, it's it's just fantastic. He goes even further beyond. I w never expect Jim Carrey to go beyond anything that he did in the first movie, but he goes even further beyond. And I think that he became closer to a perfect Dr. Robotnik in this movie, and I really liked it. I could not look to Jim Carrey as Jim Carrey the actor, as in the first one. I look at someone who's really embodying Dr. Robotnik and joining a bit of himself to it, like um, making the character go to the maximum, and that's really fantastic. Number seven, I have been receiving a lot of these questions, and one that I want to tell you is there are a ton of action scenes and they are not like one minute action scenes they are big action scenes and they look fantastic and when i say fantastic is really fantastic like the effects are way 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 better in this movie uh, i couldn't really believe that this was the second movie the quality is spot on it, everything is perfect seriously just go watch it and the action scenes will blow your mind number eight i really need to make this um clear to sonic fans there are a ton of references way more than the first one and the amount of them and what they make reference to is absolutely insane if you are a sonic fan you'll get a blast trying to see um, all these references. Some references were like, oh, there's a sign in the first movie that had X reference, but in this one, there are some that are way too literal, there are some that are even, but every single one of them was fantastic, and I can't really say this more than this, seriously, it's, it's just fantastic. Number 9, the soundtrack in this movie is better than the first one, I really enjoyed it, you'll hear some familiar tunes related to Sonic, you'll hear other music that really fits in with the movie, and for me the weakest one was the one revealed, which is going to be used in the credits, which by the way the credits look really good, and uh, I think that it fits in after you watch the movie and reflect about it, but at, a, at the time that I watched it, I did not like it. I thought it was the weakest one, the credits. But other than that, I think the, the soundtrack in this movie is really good and you'll have a blast. And finally, the most asked question, number 10. I, I will just reveal it. I think you guys deserve to know. There is one post credit scene and my friends seriously stay until the very end i was thinking about the post credit scene and i thought that it was just going to close up the second movie but oh boy this post credit scene let me tell you it's way 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 better than the first movie and it made me so excited that I took like a really long time to process everything that happens in the post credit scene. So please sit down, watch it, and it's bigger than the first one, and seriously, don't get spoilers from this scene. When, when it pops out on the internet, everyone will share it, but 
it is just a fantastic scene. So, what can I say? The Sonic Movie 2 is fantastic, but, but like, superb. I, I cannot describe it. It was a really good experience. I did not uh, cry or scream at the movie theater, but that's because it's something I don't do. But there were a lot of people around me, I mean, not a lot, I mean, those that watched it, um, they were crying and screaming and laughing a lot at most scenes that this movie has. And I firmly, firmly believe this is the best video game movie adaptation and it's going to be really hard to make one better than this one. And just to hand it, I would like to say that I give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. I think it respected a lot the Sonic lore, it is a love letter to Sonic fans and if you have a kid or if you know someone that like Sonic the Hedgehog, just grab them and take them to the movie theater. It's going to be one heck of an experience, way better than the first movie. And that's basically it. I'm sorry that I cannot tell more than this, but it is what it is. And I really want to kind of share my experience with you guys. So that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one, and enjoy the movie, and please, don't search for spoilers. It's going to be an epic experience. Take care, you all.